Hey everyone, it's RightPlan here from Nova Gamer. It has been a while since we've done a Hearthstone video. So I thought that I would check out to see the big changes that happened when it went from beta testing to the live testing. Um, well, not the live testing, sorry, the actual live version of the game. So this is my first time actually turning on the game since the beta test. Uh, we've kind of made some other videos for other games and that's why we haven't gotten around to this. So, you can go back and check out the newest videos we have of other games to find out what we've been working on. And now I had some time to get back into Hearthstone with you guys. Um, not a lot of major changes have happened so far. Um, the game is pretty much the same as what it always was before. Um, but they've added in some new things. I'll show you really quick here. Um, for instance, if you go into your quest log. Um, you can see that this pretty much hasn't changed that much. You still have your total wins. You can see that right now I'm the lowest rank because I literally just logged in. So I'll do a couple video, uh, a couple fights with you, maybe one or two, show you how that ranking system works in case you haven't seen it in our older videos. And the quests are still the same as they were before. You can close out these quests now. I'm not 100% definite, but I'm almost positive that you couldn't cancel the quest. You're stuck with the quest. But now you can cancel a quest if you want to get a different one, if you don't like the one that's there. Um, that's all that's really changed in this area. Now, some of the bigger changes you'll see, uh, for instance, let's go back in here for one quick sec. I just wanted to show you that the total wins are still the way they were before. You're still getting your, your platinum key or whatever key you're on, depending on how many total wins you have. And that's still, as of what I've researched so far and what I've done, that's still based on your highest uh, level character. So if you are hero, so if you had a level 17, for instance, and a level 30, your level 17 won't increase your total wins rank until you get past level 30. So um, my collection now, there was a huge problem. Just a second, I got, I got a message going through here. There we go. Um, there was a huge problem where people thought that when you switched from the beta to the full-fledged game that we were going to lose our cards. That we were going to be given gold based on how many cards we had and how much we purchased. I don't know when they changed that because once again we've been <laughs> focusing on a lot of games here. Um, but this actually hasn't changed. My cards are still the same. Um, watch if I go into my general ones, go up to plus seven. You'll see that I still have my Deathwing, and if I go to 6, you'll see I still have my, my uh, other legendary cards here. So I still got 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's pretty much it. That wasn't near as exciting as I thought it was going to be for you guys. <laughs> um, so, anyways, you can see I didn't lose the cards. So, if you haven't played the game in a bit and you're thinking about going back to it, but you're like, ah, oh, I don't want to start over again. You don't. You start where you left off. So, that's good news. They have also released um, an announcement saying that they are going to soon be coming out with the Beware of the Curse of Naxxramas, which is pretty exciting. It's going to be pretty much a Hearthstone highly anticipated single player adventure mode. Um, quote unquote. That's kind of like it, it's going to be you have to fight and go through and and battle and battle and battle now you got to test there's a test out for that right now you can try to get into that and test it out see how that's going um i really didn't want to make a video on that right now because i wanted to make a video first to show you if there's anything that changed from the beta to the full release um so for those of you who have already played it since the beta this might be a little bit of a drag but for those who haven't this is kind of informative so, you can see nothing has changed in my pack. Uh, the shop is almost exactly the same. They've changed the coloring a bit and made it a little fancier looking, but same prices. I don't think the price has changed at all, actually. And you can still buy a pack for 100 gold. And the arena is the exact same, too. As you can see when you go in, it's still charging you for it. Uh, the big thing now that you're going to notice that people are talking about is you can get a Hearthstone Steed. Or the hearth steed this is something where if you win a certain amount of games you will get the hearth steed um, so if you play WoW and you play Hearthstone that is really beneficial where I don't so that's not beneficial but they also I'll show you here I believe it's in settings options so this is where you'll see a couple changes 
Uh, for instance, you're able to challenge nearby players on your friends list. You can also disable that now. Um, you can now see the credits and cinematics. I'm pretty sure you can only see the credits before, not the cinematic, but I could be wrong on that. Um, you can also choose your card back, so you don't have to have the same card back all the time now. You can change that. I haven't unlocked the other ones yet, so I can't really show them, but I'm sure you can find them online for pictures that people have posted them so far. But the way that works is you have to win a certain amount of, I think it's 500 battles with a hero, and that'll unlock a card back. So let's try to get our rank up so i haven't played that much lately so i'm gonna go with this can be completely random because i have no idea how my decks are let's go with my custom warrior one now they have changed it so you're automatically set to default that you will only look for players within your region so if you're in Canada, the U.S., you're probably on the American one, uh, or Americas. And then you would have to uncheck that if you want to be able to Get link up with people around the world. Jane. You asked for it. Victory or death! So, let's see what we can do with this card deck. I have not even looked at it, so this could be brutal. Let's go with no sixes at the start. And of course I get another six. At least I can pop up some charges right at the beginning. Charge. Job done. So the good news is I have played this game long enough through the beta all the way through. You can check out our previous videos, but you will see that this is not a pay to play game. I don't care how many people out there are saying otherwise. I hope you like my invention. For instance, I have not touched my deck in, I'd say, a month. And I guarantee you, they're not going to be at a huge advantage over me playing right now. So the battles do always start off pretty easy at the beginning like I'll probably end up winning this one I'm not saying I will but it's looking like this is the charge deck I created this person really should be using the fireball to kill my problem is when you're at these low ranks when you first start it's people that Literally, either A, don't know how to play, or B, are just starting their uh, ranking. There's no way that they should have used that card. They should have definitely fireballed my guy, because now I'm going to take another 3 health from him. Whenever you summon a mage, 3 unless attack, give a charge. Okay. Let's go with this one first. Try this. I'll keep that for killing the minions, the kiddos. So this is my charge deck, so the way that I've made this deck is I'm pretty much just onslaughting them, killing them as quick as I possibly can, and I'll be using my weapon to help kill any minions they take out. You are the biggest waste of mana I have ever seen. Who is this? Unspickish. Uh, I want to do one damage to all minions. Let's put this one out. I saw some armor. It's really tempting to use this weapon. Now, if you're making a charge deck, you really don't want to use this weapon on them. You really want to save it for their minions. This person is going to die very, very badly. <laughs> All right. Destroy a damaged enemy minion. Perfect. Let's see, I will sacrifice. I want that one. Sacrifice this guy. Destroy. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this guy was not a valid target. Kim. Wow. 
Watch this. So this person better do something big or they're dead. They'll never know what hit them. That wasn't really anything big. <laughs> and that's a game. Watch this. Yay! All right, so there you have it. I like this deck so far, so let's do another one. This charge deck I really, really like. I'll do one more and then I'll show you guys this deck. So if you really like this deck, um, I don't think I made a video about my charge deck. So I'll do one more fight here, show you a little bit more of the deck. We'll see if I'm two for two on it. And then I'll show you what the deck is made up of. And then yeah. the next video I bring up is probably going to be we'll probably work at some more decks. Uh, probably work at some more different decks than just the charge deck, and try to perfect some more. Uh, let's see. I liked that. Uh, do I really need that? Yeah, I might use that at the start just to get rid of their minions, and I'll take that. Good thing about a charge deck is. Normally it's better to go second, but with a charge deck it's really beneficial to go first. Uh, give you her a plus four attack, no. So I'll just let them go. So I can use that or this to destroy their first minion they bring out. The key thing about a oh. the key thing about a charge deck is you want to get your first minion out. And destroy their first minion as quick as you can. Now I have two options here. I can use this, kill the Stanima one. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Put this apple on your head! So I'll use this guy's turn before he shoots me. Now next turn, I will bring this one out, use the weapon to kill this guy, and then keep my minion out. Then I'll be one minion ahead. I hope you like my invention. Why do you call? Let's see here. To get a charge out. Oh, five, four, four. That's six, six. Hmm. Why do you call? We must cleanse the sun well. My cards. This one out, and with that, I can. I hate the death rattle. The light protects me. All I gotta do is survive his onslaught here because he's running the cards. Oh. Right ah, perfect. Try this. Oh! 
is he gonna do here? Seven. Use a weapon there. I'm getting too low. I gotta kill him quick. All right. First things first. I need armor. I hope you like my invention. Do you call that a weapon? Ah. Almost made a comeback. Almost made one. I can't lose stars. <laughs> So there you have it. I go back here. So not bad for my first time back. Started to get some gold here. I almost got enough to buy another pack. Actually, you know what? I think I got enough for a pack. <laughs> yes, I do. Let's see what we get. Over backs. Big money, no weapons. Big money. Crap. Oh. Ah, I got them blows. Yay, crap. And there you have it. So, go to my collection. And that was Custom Warrior. So this is my charge deck. Now, it, normally it works so great. Uh, it's pretty difficult against... I, I find it does really well against most classes, except for the Warlock, because the Warlock is all about bringing out small minion, like small cost minions very quickly, if you're playing that way, which that guy did. He had a lot of low quality, uh, sorry, low mana cost, so he was getting his minions as fast as I were, was, except for he had the jump on me, because um, I got l high cost cards at the start. That's the only problem with the charge deck, is it really needs to work out for you at the start, or you're going to be screwed towards the end. I almost made a comeback, but not really. But there you go, so this is the deck. Um, that only scrolls down one more, down to Savannah's Windrunner. You don't have to do that one. I kind of did that because I ran out of charge cards. There's a certain one I'm still waiting on. I'll show it here. Uh, I'm going to go to crafting mode. It's right here. Gromish Hellscream. That's the one I really want for the deck. Um, it does cost 8, but you get a 4 and 9 charge and rage plus 6 attack. So it takes a lot of damage, and as soon as it takes a tiny bit of damage, it now has 6 attack, which is a 10 whatever. So that is an amazing charge card. So I highly recommend if you're making a charge deck, work really hard at trying to get this one made. Um, as you can see, this one costs 1,600, so I'm going to work towards that. But that's one you definitely want to get if you have a charge deck. Um, the other one you really want for a charge deck is, let me show you here, uh, where would it be, da -da 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 -da. the hunter. 
Let's go right to the end. Oops. So this one right here. I have it. It's in... I'm pretty sure it's in my charge. Oh, no. It's not in my charge deck because it's only for a hunter. Um, but this is a really good one for a charge deck. As you can see, it's only charge, but it's 9 to get in. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's not as good as Garrosh Hellscream, but it is it is a really good one. But you definitely... It depends on if you want to go Hunter or if you want to go Warrior for your charge deck. I am a big fan of the Warrior, so... Uh, where is it? Crappy mode. So, once again, the Gromish House Scream is one you... I said Garrosh last time, and then Gromish... Uh, the Gromish House Scream is one you definitely want, so I would recommend that. But, if you want Hunter, then go with the other one. But that is it for our charge deck video today. Uh, we are going to try to make some other ones for you. I'm also going to be releasing a, another Mighty Quest for Epic Loot one soon. I'm, I rebuilt the castle, um, came up with another design, so I will be building that with you. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys watched the last video on building the, ca the castle and Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, I will show you in this coming video how, it, how that one fared on the wins and losses so you can determine where you want to go with it and what you want to change and what you want to keep with it. But that's it for now. Uh, if there's any other videos you want to see, so many games coming out, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything you want to see about Hearthstone that we didn't put in here, make sure you comment below as well. Um, and we also just released another video for our Supernova cast, so make sure you check that out and stay in touch with what we're doing on that. And that's it. So uh, if you want to see more Hearthstone videos on this particular deck, just let me know. But anyways... That's it for now, and as always, happy gaming.